So today's big idea is we need to talk about, we, we need, we're at the point where we need to graduate from our WordPress.com, uh, I mean, yeah, from our WordPress.com addresses over to our own address. We need to get our own domain and our own registrar. Remember a couple of uh, weeks ago I talked about that website domainhole.com to look up possible names for a website. So now we're going to implement that in, uh, in, we're actually going to do it. This lesson that I'm going to talk about here, you may be able to do it right now, and, and if you can, that's good, and if not, uh, you'll have time later, because this will require you to purchase some space here. I had a few questions about people asking me, do I have to do it in GoDaddy? And um, I suppose not. If you want to do it in some other company like Bluehost and so forth, you can but I'm going to be doing my lesson on GoDaddy and the things that are that I'll talk about here apply to most any company but the screen will be a bit, little bit different than so and so you'll be okay uh, if you already have an existing website you can use that as well that's fine but I'm gonna go through the full process actually so uh, if you want to follow along you can go to GoDaddy.com <coughs> All of these companies like GoDaddy and Bluehost and HostMonster, etc., etc., they're all providing the same thing basically your domain name and your domain hosting. And the domain name is the name of your website, so victor.com. But in order for you to install WordPress, to upload your pictures, to have your actual website, you need the hosting. So all of these companies provide that, and for a variety of prices and deals. And um, I've used GoDaddy since like 2001. I've had an account there that long. And I've never had problems. For myself, it's always worked out fine, except in the very beginning when I was still starting off, and I didn't pay my bill, and so they shut down my site. But as soon as I paid for it, it came back up. So I haven't had any problems with it myself. There's been a, a client that I've had for a long time. She had GoDaddy from like 1998 to around 2008. And um, she was kind of always having problems with it. And then eventually she got fed up and she went over to Bluehost. She's been fine with that. So sometimes it's luck, uh, but I haven't had any problems. And most of the time when I deal with a client, uh, we set ourselves up here in GoDaddy. Now, I don't get any kickback or whatever from recommending GoDaddy. They're all the same. Uh, but it's just that I've used this enough that I have this experience. I've used Bluehost also and HostMonster, and they're all very similar. Whichever one you decide to go to, if you don't go with GoDaddy, you want to make sure that it has the ability to uh, use PHP, MySQL, and to be able to install WordPress, uh, which most of them do. So the first thing here over on... Um, on GoDaddy, what I'm going to do, I will go through this through the whole process. I will create an account and everything. Uh, and uh, I think the first thing that I'll do here, there's to search to, to find your domain and so forth. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to register for an account first at the top right. Even if you're not going to buy your domain or your hosting just yet, it might be useful to register <laughs> anyway. That's free. You can register for free and then later you can actually purchase this. So I'm going to see what's this register about. New customer, sign in. I'm going to select new customer, create my account. Enter your email address, username, password, and PIN. So you want to go ahead and do that. I'm going to do this, but I'm not going to record that part. Mm -hmm. that was good to use the 
a sniping tool in order to take a picture of the have a password and everything just just in case that's a that's a good uh, idea if it works for you sure so the so you can also do a screenshot you know on the keyboard you can press print screen button and that takes a screenshot and then you can save it into work so in any way that you you take a photo of it that'd be fine so okay i've gone through this step right here and it's asking um, which best describes you this seems to be optional it doesn't really matter if i do fill this out or not so i'm just going to say um, i'm just going to skip it create your column in say that again the, the last one here, create your call in PIN. Mm. What's, what's the question? Is, is that the same password No, that's going to be a PIN. So if you call them up, they've got 24-hour support, and if you call oh. them, they're going to ask you, you know, to further identify you a PIN. So you can, you can write a PIN there, and then they'll, they'll identify you, and they can give you your tech support. So on this screen here, I'm going to say no thanks. So I've got an account, and um, so within this account, what I can do here is now go in and, and go to look up my uh, my domain name and so forth. So let's see at the top. Uh, I'm going to go back to all products. Uh, I'll go to domains. Uh, find a domain, domain search. Now recently they've uh, made a variety of, of addresses available. For a long time there was really only .com, .net, .org, a few of them. And then there's some for countries like .mx for Mexico, .it for Italy, so forth. But those .coms, I guess, were running out. So they've made several more available that you probably have not heard of, such as .world. So you can get mycompany.world. Most people don't know about this yet, and it's going to take years for people to know, really, you know, regular people to know that there's more than one address. After 20 years, 25 years of the web, people are so used to .com, 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 that sometimes even .net, which has also been around for 25 years, people don't think about that. So to have .world you know, people are going to be even more confused by that. And there's a bunch of them. Apparently there's dot space, there's also dot photography, there's dot guru, there's a bunch of them out there. So technically any one of them will work. None of them really matters, even though everyone thinks there's dot com is the only one. Because the point of that, well, the point of this class is to get your website found. So in, in one sense, it doesn't quite matter what your address is because you're going to get found by being on social media for optimizing your site, for your content, for your blog, all of that. So you can choose something like mywebsite.club and that'll work if we follow the, you know, the things that we're going to talk about in this class. I get this little pop-up here about would someone like to chat with you? Uh, no thanks. But up here I'm going to search for a name. I'm just going to type in um, Victor's Art because it'll give me the options for .com, .net, etc. So here it says, yes, your domain is available, uh, but not at the price that I was going for. This says that I can buy victorsart.com for $2,869. Just the name. And that's what's known as a premium domain. This is um, a, a domain that is valuable because of the name. It's a short name, it's common, and so forth. So I don't really take it as like it's available because I'm not going to spend $2,000, uh, nearly $3,000 just to get the name. Whereas I said, any name will work with the whole concept of SEO to get you found. In really small letters here, it says, well, actually, also victorsart.us is available, and that's only $3.99. So that one might work for me. The dot com, dot net, dot, dot vegas, dot info, dot gallery, dot photography. 
I don't know why they didn't call that dot photo. Who's going to think about writing dot photography? Dot photo, I think, would work. And then some other weird suggestions such as champsart.com. I don't know what that is, but let's see. Um, I'm going to select victorsart.us. And all of these companies are going to want to uh, what is known as upsell you, meaning you're trying to buy something, and it's going to suggest for you also to buy a little bit more. And sometimes what they're trying to upsell you, you don't need, and sometimes you do. Uh, here it's asking for business registration, and what that includes is a, a certified domain to prove that you are the legitimate owner, of this domain and so forth. Um, it's an extra $9.98 per domain, so an extra $10. Um, I'm gonna skip that. I don't I don't need that business registration. It's saying, well, what about a website builder and hosting or hosting? Mm -hmm. And this is what I've noticed with GoDaddy that and more, more companies nowadays uh, that they provide you with some sort of tool to help you create your website quickly. <coughs> but oftentimes it's limited. We're learning WordPress because it's one of the most powerful platforms. It gives you the most capabilities. So it would not be a good idea for me to buy my GoDaddy account here and also select the website builder. This is like the easy builder that does it for me. I don't want that. I want WordPress. So in my case, all that I need is just hosting. And there's various prices. There's, for example, Economy, Deluxe, Ultimate, and right now, apparently, I'm, there's a deal going on. So instead of paying the normal Deluxe price of $8.99, it's $5.99 per month. So let's say I'm, I'm going to put up my calculator here. Let's say the regular price, $8.99 for one year. So $107 plus the price of the domain, which I think it said it was $4. So, you know, that's you know, $112 and so. Uh, so that's for the cost for, for one year of having a website. And you might think, well, that, that's perhaps a lot. Yes, but remember, there's no required textbook in this class. What is required is, is a website. Uh, the dot WordPress, the, the WordPress.com site is not going to cut it. It's not going to be able to do everything that we need. So you will need to buy your domain and your hosting, you could buy it at GoDaddy, you could get a better deal at Bluehost, it's fine, you just need a website. Um, these different tiers that are available, it says, for example, maybe I want to go for the economy, which is only $4.99. $4.99 times 12, that's $59, a lot more affordable, plus the $5 or so for the name, so, you know, $65. So that, that would work, $65. You, you, you don't really find that many of your textbooks that are that price anymore, right? They're getting expensive. So to have your presence online, to have your little piece of the internet online, this is, this is a huge price, you know, $50 to $150. And the difference is every company is competing with each other to give you the best deal. Here GoDaddy is saying for our price, $4.99, You'll be able to have one website, 100 gigabytes of space, unlimited bandwidth, 100 email addresses, 10 MySQL databases. For the next level up, $1 more, you get unlimited websites, unlimited disk space, unlimited bandwidth, 500 email addresses, and 25 databases. And then ultimate, even more unlimited stuff. For most of you, I would say the economy will work for you because you're going to have this one website, you're not going to use 100 gigabytes of space. Even if you're putting a bunch of videos on your site, we'll talk about that later, but I recommend don't even put your videos on your site. Put them on YouTube. Let YouTube store your videos and just link your video on your site and it'll play as normally and you're not wasting your gigabytes on your account. If you are planning on making more than one website, you can get around it to some point if you get the economy, even though it says one website, you know, I, can, I want Victor, victorsart.us, and then some other time maybe I want victorswebdesign.net. 
I could get both of those with my economy account, although it's a little bit more set up in the control panel to really get it to work. Whereas the deluxe version is easier to set up to have multiple addresses in your same account. So I'm going to recommend if you're going through this to select the economy because it's more affordable, it'll do what you need, and you can always add to it. Step three is saying, what about some email? You might already have a Gmail account, or a Hotmail account, or whatever, but I highly recommend to get your own email address, such as info at victorsart.us. That is much more professional than having victorsart at gmail.com. Uh, having your own domain uh, with allows you to get your own address so that you look more legitimate, so that your business card looks good, so that your presence is more professional. Um, one caveat though is not to get it this way. Here, this is saying add email to your domain, $3.99 a month. But wait a minute, up here it told me I get a hundred email addresses. You do. These hundred email addresses, however, are not going to give you the unlimited space like Gmail does or the terabyte of space that Yahoo does. It's going to give you like maybe, I don't know, 100 megabytes of space, which might be a little limiting depending what you're doing with your email, but it's free. And you just clean out your mailbox and there's no problem. You can of course go in and add this more deluxe email, but it'll be an extra $4 a month it's just about the price of the actual hosting, so that's already getting back to $100 a year. So I'm not going to select anything under business registration, no thanks for that. I'll take care of that myself with SEO and so forth. I do want hosting because I need to store my WordPress site, and I don't need the email because I get some free email addresses from my economy account. <clears throat> Any questions on this screen so far? Question there? So, uh, the recommend question and permission, I missed that. Which one? Um, Business registration? Uh, okay, that, yeah, in a second, let me mention that up here. So, some of you might get slightly different screens here. Uh, you've got over here asking about privacy and so forth. Protect my privacy. Did anyone see instead of business registration, it says protect my privacy? So, at least one person. What that's saying is, uh, when we get to a certain step and we have our account filled out, it's going to want to ask you some information about who created this account. This is required for all websites in the world. This is uh, your domain contact information. So it's going to want your, your name and your phone number and your address and so forth. So in the beginning, uh, when everything was, you know, when everyone was a little more trusting, um, we would want to put in our email address and our phone number and our legitimate contact information when we create our website. The problem is eventually, you know, spammers got online and then they started to look at all of these public records. It's like the phone book. They started to look at the public records of who created a website and then they might have gotten your email or your phone number and started to send you spam and so forth. So now companies sell private registration, which is that GoDaddy will be your middleman and they will fill in that information and then they'll get the spam instead of you. So that's asking, would you like us to do that? Although they don't do it for free. It's another cost. Um, you can fill in the address with not uh, legitimate information and so forth, and that will work. And I'll talk about that later, but what I do personally, I, I don't buy the the uh, that private registration, but I do have a PO box. I bought a PO box, you know, with the post office, and I put in that address on my registration, so I don't have my real address uh, on on this registration. So if you've got a question about private registration and so forth, just say no thanks or whatever option it has, and we'll continue. So I'm going to continue to cart. Alright, so this is what it's asking me here. Are you new to GoDaddy? You need to fill this stuff out. And this is again, this is like the phone book. Um, 
that everyone's name and phone number would be there. It was a public thing. You could play. You could pay the phone company to not put you on the phone book. Uh, and this is similar to websites. So I will fill this in. Although technically you could fill it in, put you know Darth Vader and all of that stuff that could work. I'm not advocating that, but you do want to. Uh, fill that out honestly. Um, yeah. You said that we do get something wrong, right? Um, well, could that be not being precise if they're not the name? It will. We'll have, for example, you know, contact at victorsart.us or sales at victorswebsite.net. So, yeah, it'll have, it'll be part of your domain with your name. I'm going to fill out this information. Where is this registered to? U.S. And again, it's asking for an email, uh, for an address. And uh, like I said, you could make it up. 123 Fake Street. Because I'm buying this particular domain, victorsart.us, it wants to confirm that I live in the US because I could try to claim the name victorsart.mx for Mexico, but I would have to prove that I have an address there. So you might not get a screen that looks like mine. Mine comes up like this because I'm trying to claim a .us address. So let's see here. In order to register a .us domain name, you must meet certain eligibility requirements. Please respond to the question below to verify. Let's see. How do you intend to use your domain? Business for profit, nonprofit, educational, I'll do it educational purposes. Select one that best describes you. I am a citizen of the US. So I will continue. Right, so it's telling me here, here's what you're signing up for, $143. Wait a minute, I thought this was like $50. Well, here's the thing. It's recommending, why don't you buy your name and register it and lock it down for five years? Um, maybe, but I don't have that budget at the moment, so I'll put it back to one year. $399 a year, there you go. That's what I was looking for. So you can register for your domain actually 10 years. If you know you're never going to give this name up, this is going to be your entity for all of this time. You could buy it for a longer time and you get more of a discount. I notice these companies give you more of a discount the longer you buy it for. I'm just going to do one year. It's uh, trying to upsell me a few more things. Gain your visitor's trust. Certify your domain for $4.99 a year. So this is an extra process where you fill in some forms and provide verification to show that you are the legitimate owner and creator of this site. It's a verified domain. It's a certified domain. It's $4.99 a year. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for me, so I won't. And it's saying, well, you've got victorsart.us. Why don't you also get victorsart.net, .co, .info. Or maybe I'll even switch over to victorsart.info for $2.99 and save me a dollar. So I'm going to get victorsart.info. They, uh, they convinced me. Uh, and then it's got the economy hosting here, 12 months. I can do it for one month, 699 24 up to 120 months, which is, what is that, like five years, I guess. Um, and the price goes lower, but then I have to pay more. So I'll keep it for one year. 
uh, GoDaddy and many companies ask, well, what kind of hosting do you want? Uh, oftentimes the choices are Linux and Windows. And a mistake that people make here are is selecting Windows because it's like, I have a Windows computer, so I need Windows, right? No, actually, you should get your the Linux hosting because that comes with a lot of add-ons, a lot of free software that the Windows hosting might not come with. Uh, for example, uh, WordPress. So if you get a choice, I would select the Linux hosting. I don't like that. Uh, does it have any kind of option? Mm -hmm. It's automatic. All right, so I'm just confirming what I'm buying here. Uh, one year of Linux hosting with something called cPanel, which is a modern way to manage your the details of your website, the nuts and bolts, like to create databases and FTP accounts and all of that stuff. Most companies have this now. Uh, again, there's a button on here that I say install WordPress, and it installs it. So I'm getting that, $4.99 a month saving $24 and I'm getting Victor's art dot info for one year $2.99 um, it's asking me keep my personal info public or make it private that's what I, that's what I filled out a moment ago that's why it's asking private registration because what I filled out a moment ago will be public if people search for it again you can make it up uh, or here you can buy uh, an, an additional eight dollars per year to keep it private uh, I don't need that. Domains are fine there. Recommended for you. Search engine visibility. So for a, for two dollars a month, they will do the things that we're going to do in this class. So when you stop paying them, then the then they'll stop doing that. So you're learning what they're selling you. So there's no need to buy that. The search engine optimization. I'm seeing on the top right. There's something called the I can fee. We can't avoid that. It's kind of like tax, but it's just a little tax for having a website, 18 cents. So, okay, I can't avoid that. And then at the bottom, um, it's got, uh, you might see round up for charity. Let's see how much it rounds it up to, uh, $64. And then I can choose a charity, so that's optional. You can, uh, it added 95 cents to charity. Yeah, whatever you want. I'll put that there and give some charity over to uh, the Boys and Girls Club. 95 cents there. There's promo codes that you might get. Um, not sure how. I haven't really used any, but uh, sometimes there's promo codes floating around there and that'll save you some money. So uh, it's going to cost me $64 to have my own place on the internet to be legitimate. And again, that's the price of a book. That's the price of a cheap book, oftentimes. So I'm going to proceed to checkout. It'll ask you billing information. So you know how that works. You can pay with credit card, PayPal, gift card, or a checking account. If you're able to pay for this, I would. So I will. Let me just... Uh, not record this. 
I'm going to go ahead and fill this in and then we'll proceed. Yeah, that'll be the most affordable. And that'll give you everything that you need. And we were supposed to pick the one where it's just hosting and not an actual web builder, right? Yeah, the web builder is going to be too limiting, so just regular hosting. So if you're filling in your payment information, you might then get a question about use as express checkout for future purposes. That means if you're going to buy more things in the future, you can make this happen quickly, more quickly. So I'll turn that off. You can leave it on if you want. Make this the alternate payment method for my account. You can leave that off if you want. But uh, this is just ways for you to more uh, quickly uh, buy something. So I'll just turn those off and then continue. So I have not been charged yet, I just uh, am confirming a payment method and it's telling me one more time this is what you're about to buy, the hosting, the domain, the, the bit to, to charity, and then on the right side I have to turn on this here, I agree to the following, the universal terms, hosting agreement, and the registration agreement, and um, those are those things that we never read but always agree to. And oftentimes they're talking about you won't use your website for, like, let's say, hate speech and then harassment and all of that stuff. You can always click and read it, um, but you're bound by them. So I'll agree to that, place the order. So after I got after I paid for it, then I uh, I went up to the uh, GoDaddy. I clicked back on their logo to go back to the home screen, and now I have an account. So what we'll do at this point is we'll um, we'll take a, a short break just to see if everyone's caught up, and then after we. Uh, do that after our break we'll come back and then we'll start actually using our account so let's take a 10 minute break it's about 610 we'll become we'll be back at 620 uh, and then we'll actually use our account <coughs> Can I ask you a quick question 